Hey everyone, Eric here from Lapfix. Back at it again. We got another video for you guys. Got an interesting one. Uh, this is pretty much gonna be a follow up. We've actually made two videos very similar to this. If you already didn't check out the title for it, but it is gonna be pretty much another way to do a Windows 11 bypass. Now, hopefully, this one will be the last one. Hopefully, I have to make for it. But I think it's a very, very good solution for one. As long as you make that at least right now. Let's say patch it again, but who knows? Um, the reason why I'm making this video actually in the first place is because we see a lot of lots of users. Um, some of them aren't able to actually use the command prompt for it to disable it. Um, other people aren't able to unplug their Wi-Fi card. Obviously, you don't want to really do that. We don't want to go down that far. Um, other other people we've actually shown. There's a little guy in the bottom there. Uh, you can actually disable the Wi-Fi that way. Just totally disconnect it. We showed you guys already those um, ones. If you're interested in that, at least go ahead and check out those videos first because this will be the last resort really for it or actually guess there will be one more resort and that would be to physically remove it and you know what maybe i'll make the next video if, if they patch this one i'll make the next video i'll show you guys as to <laughs> what you can do anyway i may i'll make like a parody video or something i don't know stay tuned for that if they be patching this one but i found a really interesting one it's been out there for a little bit of a while that has it, this isn't something super new but i've just been seeing so many of you guys um some most people are actually okay like 90 percent of you seem to be okay then they're actually that little 10 percent still having problems with it so we're making the video just for you guys and we want to hopefully end this once and for all so we found an actual and a very interesting thing if you're going to be doing it so if you're doing an upgrade obviously you're probably going to be okay with an upgrade if you have windows 11 pro most likely you don't have to worry about a bypassing the account here but we got an interesting one here so uh, you're going to want to have a USB for this one because we're going to be getting an official installer for it. And then there is actually uh, an installer that's going to sh that's going to actually help bypass this um, requirement as well. It's really interesting. But you're like, hmm, how do you do that? Well, that's what we're here for. So let's actually go to it. So uh, you can do this. Uh, you would probably need for this one at least a 16 gigabyte uh, USB. If you want to be doing that, I have one here of a SanDisk. I have a 64 gig. You can go, uh, you know, again, you don't need that much. Probably want to go at least 16, maybe want to go 32 just to be safe because, you know, these installers get bigger. Usually installers aren't going to do a whole lot. Usually installers don't get too much bigger, but you can see them on some. I know like the Mac OS Ventura, I think is like 12 gigs or something. It's massive. Uh, this one's a little, not too big as well, but let's just go ahead. So what you want to do, have the USB. Now we want to go over to our screen capture. From here, you want to go Windows 11 ISO. You can Google that, or you can go to the major website. The whole point is to go to Microsoft.com. Don't be going anywhere else but Microsoft.com. So you want to do that. So let's click that. You can say it's download Windows 11. Um, you want to skip all this because we're advanced users. You're with me, so I'm going to hold your hand through this. Don't worry. What you want to do is, is an ISO. So this is going to be your image file that you want. Um, again, you don't need anything super special. We'll show you guys just well, actually you do. That's kind of the point of making this. But... Um, Let's do, oh man, non-responsive page. Oh, that's great. Man, we're on the Windows page, man. Come on. So, oh, is it not getting, oh my gosh. Don't let this happen to you. I don't know why I think Microsoft um, knew that I was going to download it and it just disabled my browser. I don't know what's going on. So, we'll go. <laughs> just anyways, moving along. So, you want to go to download Windows 11 disk image. You actually want to download it. And you want to hit the multi-edition ISO. And you can actually hit download. That's going to ask you for your language. Hey, if you want to try another language, go ahead. Uh, if you're familiar with other languages, great. In this video, I'm going to do English. United. I like how they have United States. It's great. <laughs> it's like, yep, they got their own lingo dialect here. So let's do that. We hit OK. It's validating request. Now it's going to show that I have Windows 11 in English, and we want to get the 64-bit download. Now you want to, you don't want to download this to the USB yet. Um, I have other installers from before, you could say way back in the day. Actually, this would be a great time to actually do uh, a new one. So I usually like to mark them as I go. So if I have one today, in case I know I'm going to make one later, I could do like uh, dash maybe like 11. I'm making this 1114. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. And about 2022. This is great. So we can actually download it there. And it's going to download. So as it's downloading, now we want to open another tab. And then you want to hit... Um, go to Google again. You want to type this in R U F U S Rufus and you'll see Rufus is create a bootable USB drive the easy way. It's a really nice one. It's going to be uh, The whole point of it is we're going to make this this device bootable. So that's the whole point of it So we actually click that and it's gonna be a really nice one here. Um, just this page of the site, which is great um, You scroll down and you want to hit um, we, we don't like installers. We like portable installers, which is great now this is going to work with um uh, 3.2 at least. I don't know if you guys are downloading this later before. I'm not too sure. 
uh, if it's going to work from any of those other models. I know some of the previous models do work with this one, and this is the whole point of it. It's because we're going to be using this tool to do it. So let's head down to the portable one. And I actually do have here, this is another good one. It's called Etcher. I can make a video talking about these ones, like this is how to make portable USBs. Etcher is pretty good for Linux, too. You want to be using that. So I want to do that, and this will be exe files. So I'll save it in there. So you can see my dot. It was kind of cool. It actually knew that was, I was part of Rufus there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to wait. Uh, it's almost halfway done. 14 megs a second. It's going pretty fast, right? Uh, and I'm going to wait till it to be done. Once it's done, then I'll show you guys how to mount it and how to really install it. All right, so it's done now. Um, now what we want to do is we want to um, hit Rufus here. This is executable. So this is going to come up now. You're going to get this. Now, this is the part where... Um, you're going to take your USB, and you can plug in the USB now, because it, it should detect it hopefully right away. All right, so I plugged it in. And now, again, this is going to delete absolutely everything that's on here. And there you can see it's Windows 10. Actually, that's funny, because the USB I have in there is a Windows 10 bootable already. But uh, hey, man, you know, it's, uh, it's been almost a year, or just about a year, right, since Windows, uh, more than a year since I make this video, Windows 11 been re released. So let's go ahead, moving on. Now I'm going to select the image, and you know you need to select the image to where you download. Okay, so we have it in this folder, and it's going to be showing you the 22H2, which is good. Uh, you definitely want to get the latest one if you possibly can. Uh, it's going to skip because there's updates that are involved in the pack, which is good. So we're going to click that here. Now you're going to see a few things. You can see standard installation, um, Windows to go. It's also how to make it. It's very similar in that way to really make it. Um, and we want to call this uh, Win 11 bootable. We're going to be using this for our, our office here, so might as well do that. We're just going to leave it NTFS. We're going to leave everything else the same. A UEFI, especially Windows 11. So we're going to hit um, we're going to start. So this is going to just change the name. We're going to hit start. Now this is it. This is the most interesting part about this whole thing. So, so now what Rufus is doing here, it's going to make a bootable installer, but it's asking you what you want to to have. So there's requirements that you can do it. Secure Boot TPM uh, 2.0. Um, requirement for our online Microsoft account, so it just skips those stages of it. I also like to do disable data collection as well, and then I kind of just leave the rest of it the way it is. But this is obviously a way to be making another one too, and um, I guess we'll also even put in for people if you want to. We don't really recommend it um, if you're going to be making a Windows 11 um, installer for this because obviously it's, if it's requiring that, I don't. I'm not sure if it's if it's requiring this, it won't be officially supported. Your device won't be officially supported, so I'm not sure. If, if you get the wrong updates from drivers, I'm not sure how it's going to react. So I wouldn't go too crazy. I wouldn't be telling customers really to do this. That's why I won't be making a video to show the bypass this part because it's not officially supported. Um, but this is the number one thing that we want is remove requirement for our online account. So we're going to hit yep, and then we're going to let it uh, do its thing. Now it's going to tell you all of the data is going to be deleted on that USB. So we'll hit OK because we don't care about the USB. And uh, we'll come back once it's done. It shouldn't be take too long. And we're back. So uh, you'll know it's good if you open it up and you see the drive is kind of something like this, set up EXE. This is bootable. You can obviously run it from here if you hit set up EXE, but that's kind of defeating the whole purpose. I probably don't care about that. You're, you're stuck in really the activation lock or not the activation lock. <laughs> you're stuck in a local account. So um, well, what we can do is we'll disconnect this USB. Now, every laptop is different. Um, some will have a button on the side. Um, desktops most likely can be like f2 delete f12 really depends on how to get there it depends on your make, make manufacturer of it um so go ahead and boot to that uh we have this logo here you just want to make sure that you, you select the usb as a bootable we have videos also uh, talking about that one this is this might actually be a good one because i think this is an older desktop anyway so now you're going to get to this you're obviously going to do this and now we're going to install an os on here and so your setup is starting. It's just pretty much just the installation page. Um, you guys can skip if you guys are kind of already know what you're doing. We accept. We got to sign our life away. If you want to read this, go ahead. Please let me know down in the comments below if you actually did read it and if they have something funny in there because sometimes they might. And now we're going to be doing a custom installation. And nothing on this drive. This is perfect. I just pull one from back there. All right. So it's a 500 gigabyte drive. We'll install it. Um, this one. And now we're going to let it copy Windows. And then we'll get to the fun part. Let's see if it worked then. Okay, it looks like it's installed. Hmm. All right, so uh, what I expect is just bypass it, right? Let's go, let's just do it. Don't worry about it. disconnecting anything. So let's get yes here. Let's say method right, yes. Skip.
Okay, in this case, I don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. All right, this is what we want to see. This is just like on, um, I guess, like, like Windows Pro. If you have like the Pro version of Windows, right? It probably does it, and it's kind of like Windows 10 too. Uh, so we're gonna skip it, and again, looks to be good. Uh, we could just set it up this way. We'll continue for that, and I guess we'll go to desktop. But there's really nothing else really to be showing. But let's just go all the way anyway, because we're here. Oh, okay. So we we're able to get through, and it looks to be good. All right, so yeah, that was it behind me there. I was recording off that one. So it's an older one, but it did work. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy watching this video. And are finally, finally, I know this is like the third one I've made already, but it should at least get you through, at least for this, because this is going to bypass all the other stuff. So you don't have to worry about that, especially if you want a clean install. That's the best way to do it anyway. Just use Rufus. It's a really good... Um, bootable USB software that you can use and you see it does bypass other things as well you did see in there that you can also bypass the requirement for TPM all those other things we really highly don't recommend doing that because it's not officially supported by Windows then and I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the updates if you're gonna get any errors or blue screens I just wouldn't recommend it go ahead and try it at your own risk but anyways hope you guys were watching this video if you did please leave a like it really does help us a lot subscribe for more content if you have um, I would definitely recommend go check out the other two videos first before you do this, so, but if you're doing a clean install anyway, I guess this will be a better way to do it, so I guess not. It's up to you. What do you guys think? Um, do you guys have any other issues? Uh, do you guys want me to make any other bypass videos there? But uh, go ahead, comment down below which one, of this, which one of these actually worked out for you, and did you just pretty much just use this method? It works actually totally fine. If you have any issues, just let me know. Man, we're paying attention. We see the comments. We see you guys out there. We know what's going on. And see you guys next video. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys. Bye.